This is what they look like now, before they have their little jacuzzi moment. <laughs> It's Alex with BF Vintage. I am going to be uh, making this video about some art pieces that I am working on and I thought I would show you kind of like from beginning to end and so my goal is to make some more of my creatures from my gothic toy box series and so I have a friend that owns a vintage shop and she has some stuffed vintage stuffed animals for me so I'm gonna go grab those and I'm gonna show you from start to finish how we how I create these guys. So let's do it. So before I uh, was gonna go pick up the stuffed animals that I'm gonna get, I stopped at this uh, Mexican drive-through restaurant and in the same plaza there was this thrift store I'd never been to so I decided to eat my tacos in the car and then pop in and this is what I found there and I got it for 60 bucks definitely thinking of using it for a larger art piece because I'm thinking about getting bigger with some of the things I'm doing so super stoked about that one all right these are the cute little goodies uh, that I'm gonna snag to reinvent them into something a little creepier because that's how I roll. So we're gonna grab these five bucks each and see what we can do. I'm gonna turn the oven on. Please forgive my crazy hair and face today. Just to remind everybody while we wait for this to heat up. This is what they look like now, before they have their little jacuzzi moment. Yeah. All right, let's see how it turns out. I am using this dye, but made by RIT. It's for synthetic uh, fabrics. And I didn't realize I was gonna have to boil the water to do that, but it's in the graphite color, so hopefully that will bring black to the stuffed animals. Um, yeah, so we're just waiting for water to boil. It's very exciting. The directions say to add one teaspoon of liquid detergent. All I have is this green stuff, so I hope it doesn't mess with anything. So we're gonna go ahead and do, this is a half teaspoon, so I'm just doing two of these. Hopefully I can get this can eyeball a quarter of this thing. It's gonna be a little hard. So let's hope for the best. It's very hard to see how much I've used. Okay, I'm gonna use tongs to just mix since this is what I'm gonna be using to uh, put the bear in there, the stuffed animals in there. Submerge unfolded wet fabric into dye baths stir consistently for 30 minutes wow hopefully i have the stamina <laughs> all right you're about to uh to be turned into a black bear let's do this Ooh. oh it's kind of cool Already looks way different. But 30 minutes is a long time. It's crazy. So I might be taking a risk here, but I don't have 30 minutes to do both stuffed animals. So look how black it looks already. You guys can see that. <laughs> it's kind of funny. I think I'm going to see if I can rinse him now and see if that cute piece gets us to rinse it in warm water first. I'm just going to put the other one in here. This guy. So I'm going to go ahead and. Ooh, that was hot. Did not think about that. <laughs> While he's rinsing, we will go ahead and 
get this guy soaked. Oh no, we're boiling. We don't want boiling. We want just above, just below boiling, it said. That's the bear I'm trying to get all, wash all the dye out of now. Okay, so now we have the kitty that looks black. And we have to rinse it out now. So, I didn't do the full 30 minutes, uh, but I still feel good about it. So we'll see how it goes. Okay. Dry him. All right, Mr. Bear. Mr. Bear. Using like a towel that is already stained and stuff, just like an old ratty towel. Now we're gonna dry the kitty cat, which is really cool. He's just turned into a black cat. The only thing that sucks is the ear got a little bit messed up in the process so we'll probably have to sew that back on so we'll have to just be a little more gentle as we dry her and one of her eyes melted but I was going to change the eyes anyway so I'm not mad about it. Let's dry her up. So this is another project that I've been working on. I did not film it, but uh, I put this doll body together and then dressed it uh, with some doll clothes that I had. So styled it the way I'd like. And then I have this, um, oh my gosh, I'm pretty sure this is a mink skull. Yeah, I think it's a mink skull and added the wig to it and so now I need to attach that to that. Yeah, I've decided that I'm going to be using this little, um, oh my gosh, what are these called? <laughs> my brain is not working today. But these little, this is actually like a vintage, um, you know, the thing that you put thread on. There's a name for these. Oh, I will probably list it here in the video. All right, so my next phase for this particular project is I need a way to attach the skull to this body. And if you can see, this body is like very much, um, now that I've ripped the head off, which was all porcelain, it's very just like soft and stuffed. So it makes it a little harder to like have something, you know, more, um, something of a harder material to attach to, which is generally what I have to work with, but obviously this is super soft. So I have done something like this before, where like I actually got this from the dollar store. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna saw, um, saw it to a certain height, and then I'm going to, um, you know, open this up and stick this inside, and on the other end of it will go the um, uh, cat skull. All right, we have now glued the wooden piece to the skull, the cat skull, and I have decided on a wig for said skull. Originally, I was going to make this more like mask, but after perusing all of my wigs, I just feel like this one um, with the black uh, pops more so I feel like it's a little more androgynous and I like that a little more Yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and basically I'm gonna rip this open and try to find a way to get this 
stuck in there and also glue the wig to the skull. Let's do it. All right, we fought a lot with his neck and also to get the position correct. I actually ended up sticking something else inside to make it so that his neck was tilting properly because I just didn't like the angle in which it, it stood and didn't look realistic. It was like tilting down. So now I think the angle is much, much better. And I feel like this one's a they, them personally. So this they, them has a cat skull and they are ready to slay. I think the girls with their nails done. I think the girls with their nails done.